Santos Dumont Palmyra. We are now about to get to know a sister, or perhaps rather, a brother of Ahoris. Santos Dumont. The two gentlemen were not related by blood, only in business. Santos Dumont is an independent brand under Ahoris. Santos Dumont was a Brazilian, born into a rich family as the son of a wealthy plantation owner. Brazil do not only produce coffee, sugar also contributes significant to the Brazilian economy. When you drink rum in this large South American country, you drink cachaca. That is what they call alcohol distilled on molasses or sugarcane juice. If you are on the European continent, you would probably describe Santos Dumont Palmyra as being French in the style. Probably because the French rum agricole is made purely out of sugarcane juice, as is Santos Dumont. However, this is where the resemblance stops. Because while the French is dry, Santos Dumont is sweetened with sugarcane juice. Santos Dumont Palmyra is named after the town where Santos Dumont grew up, Palmyra. If your fingers are tapping frantically on the keyboard to find information about the Brazilian town of Palmyra, you will find little information because the town is now called Santos Dumont, named after our friend on the bottle. A particular color dominated the houses in the town. The dusty turquoise you see on the bottleneck and the label. Sugarcane juice from Brazilian sugar canes is at the heart of this blend. Santos Dumont Palmyra is a true cosmopolitan. The blend also includes molasses rum from both the West Indies and Central America. Palmyra is traditionally aged on bourbon cask and it is given its finish on cask that used to contain sweet white wines. So what do we get from this Palmyra? The color is amber, no way around that. The nose is apricot, leather and sweet tobacco, with a touch of honey and rose petals. taste is soft and gentle, with a smooth complexity. Tropical fruits and sultanas, together with deliciously sweet vineyard notes. It has a light finish, with elegant integrated dry tannins combined with leather and tobacco. Cheers everyone, in Santos Dumont, Palmyra. And while you enjoy this exquisite spirit drink, I will tell you a small anecdote. It's a fact that Santos Dumont is mainly known for his achievements during the early days of flying. If it flew, Santos Dumont would taste it to its limits. Whether it was an airship or one of the flying machines that in those days were considered both impressive and dangerous. Santos Dumont was a daredevil, but not reckless. He knew the importance of having both hands on the stick when flying. But he also wanted to keep track of time. However, it was impossible to have both hands solidly planted on the stick and be able to see the time on his pocket watch at the same time. He therefore asked his very good friend, the jeweler Cartier, and yes, that Cartier, to find a solution. Cartier was both smart, resourceful and forward-looking, so he quickly invented the wristwatch for his good friend. 
Now he could keep both hands on the stick while checking his watch at the same time so that he would know how much airtime he had left because the fuel indicator had not yet been invented.